Hey everybody, and welcome back to the homestead. I just got off of work, and Angel's at work today, so I'm watching the boys. But, instead of just sitting around the house not doing anything, I'm going to go and get busy on continuing on working on this floor. First up on today's list is to finish this last piece in this corner of the kitchen. It's just uh, one sheet of OSB I got to cut, and then drill a hole in the middle for the kitchen sink's drain and supply lines to run through. And then that part's done. And that finishes this whole part of the kitchen floor. After that, as long as I got time and the boys aren't killing each other at that point, I'm going to go ahead and start tearing into the floor at the bedroom door, trash can area, and work my way this way to get as far as I can. I'm not going to say that I've even got hopes that I'll connect into the dining room floor we've already replaced, but I'll just do what I can. We used this truck bed trailer to pick up the materials the other day because we took a load of this, um, our old cabinets, to the dump and just picked it up on our way back. But I really prefer to work off of our gray trailer, or black trailer that's right there, because it's lower to the ground and easier to cut stuff on. So I'm going to go get it and drag it over here. Scrap piece I need is up here under the outdoor kitchen. Be right back. There we go. That's pretty good. Pretty good. Can't complain. I won't listen. Alright, all done with that. Didn't take too long and it went pretty good, all things considered. It really helps having Angela here because she's able to pick up on things that I will miss. Just like when I put that floor down and didn't realize there was a lip of old plywood that still needed to be cut out until the very end. But, still got it done. It just took me longer than it would have. Alright, i uh, got to take a break now because the boys have informed me they are ready for lunch. So, let's we'll see what I can find for lunch. I'll do that. And, all things work out good. I'll see you guys a little bit later and we'll keep working. Well guys, we're back home now. We had to run out to the store and get some groceries and a couple other things. We're going to some family's house tonight to celebrate Angela's birthday, but it's too late to start anything because by the time I really get rolling, it's going to be time to clean up and leave, and it's kind of just not worth it at this point. But don't worry, the video is not over. We'll just go ahead and skip ahead to our next step of work. Welcome back. It's another day and we are getting working. I just moved the stove and the dishwasher over because we're going to go ahead and start with the floor replacement here, a little bit of the dining room, and then moving over across the fridge cubby and making our way across the kitchen.
So I have to be really careful as I'm cutting the floor right here because this wall is where our main electrical sub panel is for the home. And there's a hole in the floor, look like a drilled hole. So I've been kind of watching it. I just got a flashlight and realized it's really good. Uh, it was a blessing that I was being extra cautious because there's some high voltage wires for our stove and looks like our furnace running really close to where I would have trimmed the floor next to the wall. So I'm gonna try and get something to, like a stick or something to push them out of the way enough to where I know I can cut the wall and I'm gonna come off that wall a couple inches to give me enough safety room and then I'll be able to see and have access to the area better to then trim the wall flush as well or trim the floor flush with the wall. get up a lot more flattering pose here um, so I put a four foot level in there and kind of push the wire that's laying this way out of the way to help me give me enough clearance to go ahead and cut the floor The refrigerator floor part is all done. Next thing we're doing is moving on down the line, but only two joist spaces, because what we need to do is add some floor joists, blocking, bracing, support, whatever you want to call it, underneath this wall, because this wall is not built over top of a joist. That's the way they do them in mobile homes. So we're going to take the floor out there, put the blocks in, jack it up, and give it proper support on that wall. My legs are short, they don't really touch. Well, that fridge wall jack procedure actually went a lot smoother than I was afraid, which is great. Angel just got back in from cutting all the blocking for the floor, and we're going to put that in place. And then, you know, same stuff. But it's exciting for us because it's one less piece on the floor. Yay! Wait, one more piece on the floor. One less piece to do. To do, yeah. I figured you'd do your yay at the more piece, but you missed the boat. Oh, oh well. Wow. I need to do something before I forget before we get too far along in this process. And that is to run a new wire down through the wall, across the flooring, over to the sub panel for us to run a dedicated circuit for our dishwasher. 
So I'm using a three quarter inch spade bit for this because I'm actually gonna run two wires. One is gonna be the dedicated circuit for the dishwasher. The other, I think we may use, we may not. We've got some LED recessed lights that we're thinking about putting in here. If we decide to, we're gonna need our own circuit with a switch over here on this wall. So two birds, one stone, two wires, one hole. Give the wire a slight curve and give us the best chance we can to kind of hook back into the floor there. So fishing the wires through the floor, epic fail. We took that as a perfect opportunity to go to Lowe's, our favorite store, the store that takes most of all our money, and I picked up a handful of items. The thing that'll help with the wire is I picked up a roll of fish tape, which is a metal thing. You'll see it here shortly. I um, didn't know what it was. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's one of those things you Google. Once you Google it, you know. Um, so we got that. We got a handful of other materials we need to finish this floor section today. And we also picked up something that you saw in a, the video before this, but we'll show it to you now because this is kind of real time. This is probably totally messing with you guys as far as the <laughs> space-time continuum of YouTube, but that's the way it works. Uh, yeah, we got a HEPA air filter for the bedroom. We're going to go ahead and plug it up and hope it works. All right, cool. I don't know what I'm doing. I guess I'll find where I put the Lowe's bag. So here's a look at the fish tape. It's not too big, but this is only a 25 foot long one. Basically, it's a roll of steel that's quarter inch thick and flexible. And it's got a little rubber tip on the end that you hook wires to. What I'm going to do is fish this down the hole in the floor, or in the wall, and let it kind of curl back and go that way. And we'll uh, fish stuff out, or fish it through, or do something fishy. Try not to get hit in the face. harder <laughs> yeah it's like hitting I don't know stuff there we go it's feeling fishier oh, oh I see it really oh cool check that out it's like a little cotton candy <laughs> stick <laughs> do not eat it you want some cotton candy <laughs> awesome wow so there's an example of a tool that uh, I really didn't want to buy it was only 12 bucks and so not too expensive, but I just hate to buy a tool I'm only going to use a couple times. That was well worth it because that was the first try all the way through and a lot easier than what we were previously doing, <laughs> which involved Angela like hanging over the edge, looking underneath it with a flashlight saying, I don't see nothing. And I'm like, keep looking. And if you're married and you've ever done a project with your spouse, 12 bucks is worth saving the afternoon. I agree. <laughs> All right, so how to hook your wires on your fish tape and pull them through. You wanna strip off your insulation of the wire and you wanna pick one of the wires to be the one that actually goes through the loop, just one of them. I'm gonna pick the black wire because that's the one that popped out first. You loop it through and back on itself like that. Get this closer. And then you want to twist the wire around it. Itself, around itself. Like that. Well, I'm done. And then there's a couple of different methods I saw on YouTube on how to do it. Because, of course, that's how I learned how to do this. The one I'm going to go with, because it's just a very simple pull through one hole, 
is just that. Let the black wire hold onto the hook and let these other wires kind of just fall this way so they shouldn't snag. We'll give this a shot and see. So we'll go ahead and pull through about, I don't know, six feet worth. Plenty enough to run either to a junction box or to the dishwasher itself directly. I have yet to really pin down what is code in our area and what we are going to do. But this is good enough for now. We're not ready to put our dishwasher in yet, unfortunately. And I've got time to figure that out or any of you electricians to tell me. Our breaker box is right here on this wall. I'm going to go ahead and cut the wire because I need to run a second run for a different circuit we're going to add. Leave myself plenty to work with in the future. Alright, we're over at the breaker box now and I'm going to go ahead and fish the wires up into it but not connect them. I'm pretty leery about showing people how to do this because I'm not a licensed electrician. I know what I'm doing, I just don't think I'm qualified enough to teach you properly. So I'm going to skip this part. There's plenty of videos out on YouTube, plenty of resources if you want to learn how to do this part. Just, I don't think we're exactly the right people to be teaching it just yet. Although we've done it a ton. <laughs> Hold on guys. We just stuffed the wires in the bottom of the box well out of the way. They're pinned up and just put right there. Still wrapped up and insulated. And we'll attach them with breakers and all that in the future when we're ready. But for now they're safe. And like I said, sorry we didn't show you, but just not one of those things I'm ready to share. tap it with the hammer and the block see if we kind of coax it going Good. Because it matches with the next one. Yep. La, la, la. Look, I can walk right here. Yeah. Hi. Yay. Yay, Nobody can see us. Nope. Oh, <laughs> man. Well, they just missed it. That's a memory for us. Isn't it amazing how nice the new floor feels once <laughs> we've had it all gone? Yeah. Do your little dance there. <laughs> dig -a -dig -a -dig -a -dig. <laughs> we'll get the banjo. Actually, I'll get the ukulele and play for you. How's that? Okay. Awesome. Well, let's screw it to it. We're almost, yeah, we should go get the fridge in tonight. Mm-hmm. Yay. That would be wonderful. It would be wonderful. Oh, don't forget, you got to do the PEX stuff. I'm glad you said that. All right, well, I'll run the PEX line for the ice maker. I'll screw it to it. While you do the flow. What are you going to do with these people? I guess you're going to wait. Mm. I'll put them on time lapse. How's that? Since we moved here about four years ago, we've not had an ice maker or the water that comes out of the fridge. And now we have the opportunity to put it in. So I'm really excited to have that again. Pass the camera off to Angela and uh, let's see how good I measure and cut. Let's see, looks like it goes this way. Well, looks like it goes this way. Well, that fits. That's it, break the pot. Yep. What's the say what's the phrase? I brought you in this floor, I can take you out. I put you in this floor, I can take you out. Okay, I need to 
Put your foot there. It's going to kick it out. All right, let me get a marker. Mark it. Just occurred to me that we need a round hole cut through the floor. And there's this really cool invention that cuts or drills round holes through the floor. So this would be pretty easy. Oh, there's an arm. Hello, arm. Bring it off the wall a little bit. Are you gonna make me down, get down there and do it? No, I'll do it. Mm -hmm. I gotta take the credit somehow. Oh, you're gonna do it the easy way. Pretty much, pretty much. The perks of that is no mice can get around it. That's right. I got a little bit of trim work to do right here where I got wonky with this all outside, but I, you know, I didn't want to come across too perfect. Yep. So while I was uh, trying to be all precise and get my measurements and got out my compass and my sextant and everything to get the right measurement, Angel's like, can't you just hammer it in? I'll try it. If it doesn't work, it's her fault. Solid. All right, sorry, hon. Jump on it. I, we, it's new floor. I'm not gonna break it. <laughs> now, why didn't you use your new bit? I don't want to. I don't. I don't know. I'm ready to be done for the day. I don't want to have to go through uh, figuring out how to open that package. <laughs> You do not have that on. <laughs> I got a little top heavy. Front heavy. My center of gravity went that way. Alright, well, this is going to be a butt show, I guess. Like a baked potato and a pair of shorts. <laughs> I quit. That's yours. That's probably one for the blooper reel. It's kind of stuff to get you guys to see around the whole video, right? Hope you're not skipping ahead. That's the good part. helps if you put it in the right direction. <laughs> Angel's Drill Tips 101. It helps if you put it in the right direction. All right, it's a moment of truth, and that's called Sam versus Refrigerator Part 2. Let's see how easy it is to get this new, well, it's not a new fridge, the fridge in the new spot, the new floor.
How good does it feel to be sitting on a new floor in your old home? All right, we're pretty goofy because we're pretty happy. <laughs> Today actually went really good. It did. We needed a win for a day for change. Win. And my refrigerator is back in its spot. Now we just have to work on everything else. Yeah, it's all downhill from here. Well, thanks guys for watching and coming along with us. Yes. Um, another thank you to... Gosh, I'm terrible with names. I forgot. You sent us the pantry shelf organizer. Thank you, thank you, thank you. We haven't got it up yet because we're not to that point just yet. But we have it saved. We checked it out. That was really cool. Never knew something like that existed. So, thank you very much. Yes. And I guess we'll see you guys next time. We will. <laughs> Are we not going to push the refrigerator in? Man, that refrigerator is... We got issues, he and I. Yep. I get to the end of the video, I don't know what to talk about. Oh. So you just stare at it mm -hmm. and wait for me. Yeah, it's my uh, body language cue for please talk, because I have okay. nothing to say. Actually, I get to eat and play for you. How's that? Okay.